The best tips and tricks for grounded new players. Welcome to all new grounded players. I've been playing and creating content for grounded for more than two years. And these are the most valuable tips and tricks to help you start playing the game. You can also check the entire list of tips and tricks in the video description. Click on the ones that most interest you. The first tip changed my game forever. Set gamma to 60%. What you see now is the gamma setting on 27%. Usually this is the setting most players go with. Everything is extremely dark. What you want to do is to increase it to at least 60%. Some players set it up to 100%, but it feels too bright for my eyes. Fiddle around with it and find what works for you. And say goodbye to torches. Oh, a wolf spider. Tip number two, build your base close to the kid's case. This is the kid's case, where you first spawn in the game in the central part of the backyard. I advise building your base around this area, because you got a field station on your doorsteps and, most importantly, free trips back home. Let's imagine you are in the upper yard. Just kill the termite king and have a full inventory. Instead of running back to your base, you can give up, respawn in the kid's case and recover your backpack. You are back. To recover your backpack multiple times, you will need to save and load your game, as it is not possible to do it twice in the same gameplay session. Tip number three, relocate pallets to move building materials. While building your base, remember that you can move grass planks and weed stems by relocating pallets. This is a well-known trick and it's even possible to run while relocating objects. The same thing can be done with chests if you decide to build a mushroom brick base. Tip number 4. Activate rock cracker mutation to shovel clay. And if you plan to use clay or pebble foundations on your base, remember that rock cracker mutation also affects the shovel while digging clay. With the mutation deactivated and a level 6 shovel, you will need 2 shovel hits to break the clay. With the mutation activated, you only need one hit. Tip number five, upgrade to repair. You might be asking yourself why I got a level six shovel, right? Well, because instead of repairing tools, when they break, I upgrade them. Broken tools, weapons and armor pieces will automatically be repaired when upgraded, 
If you want to save some repair materials while upgrading your gear, that's the way to go. Tip number six, always do a three hit combo. Regardless of the melee weapon you choose to carry, one thing will never change, the three hit combo system. To output the maximum damage of a weapon, you have to always complete the three hit combo. Let me show you the damage difference between two situations. First situation, I will hit this wolf spider three times but only with the first hit of a combo. Damage done, 2.5-ish bars of its HP. Second situation, I will hit this wolf spider three times with a perfect three hit combo. Damage done, almost 6 bars of its HP. That's almost 3 times the damage done when compared with the first situation. Of course, sometimes you won't be able to complete a combo as you will have to block to defend yourself. But always keep this in your mind. Tip number 7. Use the 3 hit combo to farm faster. Yes, the combo system also affects tools and things to farm, as grass planks and pebbles. If you string the combo to different grass, you will farm faster. Hit 1, hit 2, hit 3. As you saw, it took me 2 hits to chop the first grass and 1 hit to chop the second one. The same thing happens with pebbles. Hit 1, hit 2, hit 3. It is important to mention that at a certain point of the game, you will be chopping and breaking things with the first combo hit. And this tip will become useless. Tip number 8. Use the resource surveyor. If you really want to farm materials fast, the resource surveyor is a must. Use it to find every material in the backyard. If you don't know how to use this marvelous machine, I have a complete guide on it that is being suggested on the top right corner of the screen. Tip number 9. Scout with photo mode. Another good tool to gather information is the photo mode. Awesome to take pictures, but great to search for creatures and resources. You name it. Raw science. Scab schemes. Feathers, tip number ten, make allies. When you scout a wolf spider, you think you have two choices, run away or fight. Well, actually, there is a third one, become allies. Use the wolf spider or any other alpha predator to help you win your battles. 
this can be a hard thing to do, so always save the game. With a weevil shield, a pebblet axe and no armor, you can kill a wolf spider and some bombardier beetles. Tip number 11. Find protection in any shadow. If you try to pull off the allies trick in the sandbox, remember that any kind of shadow protects you from the scissor. Even the shadow of the wolf spider. even the shadow of its dead body. Trail markers can protect you. Zip lines can protect you. Everything can be your umbrella. Tip number 12. Craft pupa and berry ledgers on jerky racks. You can craft leather the usual way or the smart way. To craft it in the usual way, as we see, takes three berry chunks to craft one berry leather. And five pupa hide to craft one pupa leather. The smart way, and not everyone knows, takes one berry chunk to craft one berry letter and one pupa hide to craft one pupa letter. You just need to hang them on jerky racks and come back after a day or so. What are you going for? The usual way or the smart way? Tip number 13. Craft crude ropes on spinning wheels. Same as the letters, there is the usual way and the smart way to craft crude ropes. The usual way takes three plant fibers to craft one crude rope. The smart way 
takes just one plant fiber to craft one crude rope. Just let them spin on the spinning wheel and soon you will be the crude rope king. Tip number 14. Complete daily missions before midnight. The best way to grind raw science is by completing daily missions. Burgle daily missions respawn every day at midnight, so be sure to complete all three missions before the day ends. Collect new missions at any field station in the backyard. Processing. Processing. Tip number 15. Place water containers under juice boxes straws. Every now and then, juice boxes drop some juice. By placing water containers right under a straw, you can stock the juice and have the best drinks of the game always available. Tip number 16. Cook three pieces of meat on the roasting spit. Not everyone knows, but the roasting spit has space for three pieces of meat and not just one. Big opportunity to triple your cooking. Tip number 17. Tame pets for plus 10 inventory slots. The gnat is the best pet you can have. Weevils and aphids can be killed. The gnat will fly and safely follow you around. But the best thing about having a pet is the extra 10 inventory slots. To tame a gnat, grind spoiled meat on the grinder to make spoiled meat slurry and place it close to them. Before I go, let me welcome you again to the Grounded community. If you have any doubts about the game, comment below and I will help you. You can find absolutely everything about Grounded on this channel, every guide, walkthrough, gameplay session, and even a huge community project that everyone is invited to join. And yes, it's okay, I'll let you spy on me.